Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is a technique um, video, and it is a video uh, technique that I am showcasing from my downline uh, technique challenge. And Marianne Rossiter uh, submitted uh, this card, and the technique is called sunset galaxy sky so you will see you know you can see the sun setting and so I thought I would share how to do this I'm going to start with a piece of whisper white cardstock and I am going to use a different set than what Marianne um, used but I'm going to use some um, similar colors that what she did for the sunset so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my daffodil delight I am using sponge daubers and you really really want to push hard when you go to um, burnish this cardstock because you want that really bold um, color. So I've got my Daffodil Delight and then I'm going to go in with my Peekaboo Peach. Again with a dauber, and we want to push really hard. And I'm going to go down into that yellow some so that we've got like a, a gradual um, color transition. So I've got the peach. I'm going to kind of push that up just a little bit higher. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the rose red um, and kind of burnish that in there. Again, going down into my peach so that I've got a gradual look of color. i go up a little bit higher on this. And there's no rhyme nor reason as far as how high you go or how much you blend those colors in together. And then I'm going to use um, the Rich Razzleberry again with those sponge daubers and I'm just going to go in and add that purple. It's summertime in Ohio, getting a little bit humid and so my dehumidifier is starting to run. Need to think about that when I'm doing my videotapes here. Um, you'll probably hear that in the background. But there I've got um, my background. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my aqua painter. Now this is what Marianne suggested to do is to take the aqua painter that you don't want to spritz it. Something else you can do is take a toothbrush and dip it in water, but you want flakes of water and when you first do it it doesn't look like you're getting much water but you got to give it a minute um, to kind of dry now I've got some puddles of water on there but what it's going to do is give you water marks on that so I'm going to pull that up I don't know how well you can see it there but we've got some water rock marks going on I'm going to oop I've got a bigger one here I'm going to add some more up here into the purple I'm going to bring in my embossing um, gun now you would use this for heat embossing but I'm going to use it to speed up the drying so apologize for the noise But there, now you can see those dots a little bit better, the little specks. Then I'm going to go in with uh, um, Timeless Textures. This has a bunch of um, little dots. I'm going to take my uh, white ink pad and I'm going to randomly stamp and maybe even stamp off with some of that white. Now that water is not completely dry I see on my card but there again it gives another fun because, um, look because it's kind of running that pigment ink. I am going to bring in that heat gun maybe dry it a little bit longer now. With the pigment ink of course it's a wetter ink and it does take a little bit longer for that to dry. So I want to make sure that's good and dry. is a stamp set that keeps giving and giving and giving. 
I signed up 20 years ago um, as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you've been following my blog, you know that I am giving away 20 sheets of designer series paper this month for online orders. And 20 years ago when I signed up, I bought this stamp set. Lovely as a tree. And I tell you what, this stamp set, like I said, just keeps giving and giving and giving. It's still available. And so I'm going to, I think I'm going to stamp it like right here using um, black ink, basic black. So I've got my trees and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp them again. I do have a small piece of black cardstock. I was going to um, add that across the bottom for the darkness, but I think I'm just going. Ah, I'm going. I'm going to do it. We'll make it look nicer. I'm going to tear um, that piece of black cardstock using my finger as a guide, just ripping that back and forth just to give an uneven edge to look like a dark shadow. And I'm going to place that at the bottom. Oops, there's that um, snail that's not working from last Tuesday's video. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got to get that changed out. I'm going to use those blue dots again. So we're going to place that at the bottom. Isn't that pretty? I did not bring a finished black um, for the card itself. Bring in Mary Ann's card. You can see how pretty it looks. I'm going to just flip it over like so. Um, and I think I will just mount it like that. Very pretty um, stamping technique. So thanks, Marianne, for um, this technique. And thanks for joining me. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.